Hail to Stalin or Hail to Stroya. He's here to deal with his paranoia. Stalin, what do you need? It's a long story, so I hope you'll aid. I feel like there's enemies all around me. What do you think this started? After all citizens departed, we were doing business things, but everything started to go wrong. What happened? I got outvoted 300 to 3. Why is everybody against me? I wonder. What else happened? It was Hitler. He killed my men and was here for four whole years. That's about as long as the hair on his ears. Sir, we don't need to go into that. It's revenge for the country he was upended. Stalin, I know what mental problem you got. Actually, multiple. You have a lot. What are they? One of the three, you got bipolar disorder. It means your moods are not in order. Go on. Narcissistic, which means you have no love. Wow. The last is paranoia. You think others are after, others are after to get you, so you start fighting. This is a lot to take in at once. Better to know you have a problem than not to know. I don't have a problem, now die! I rule my country with an iron fist. Check, Check for a stable landed leader, leader they missed. I am my country's one true love. No man in Russia is equal or above. His compassion is none, yet public appeal he won. A criminal one day, now a leader most say. So, so give me an iron string card, just give me the out of here. So I may have killed all the kulaks and starved my peasants to the bone, but they were my enemies that shone. It shone brighter than gold. And the persecutors were sold. Together we are the USSR. Many the times have we been choked and our country, country is broken. broken. Oh no, I'm having a stroke. Stalin. Was it his mental health that had killed him? If not, what did? Only one way to find out. Shall we continue with the autopsy? Aha, I found it. Found what? Don died because of cerebral hemorrhage. What? Bleeding inside the brain. I see. So his mental condition had nothing to do with it? Actually, yes. It did contribute to his death. How so? You also had atherosclerosis. Okay, what's that? It's the hardening of the arteries. Continue with the autopsy. I'll just be a moment. I gotta write what we've found so far. Major arthrosclerosis of the brain, which we found in the autopsy, so raised the question of how much his illness, which had clearly been developing over a number of years, affected Stalin's health, his character, and his actions. Um, doctor? Yes. He also had paranoia, which could have spread it from his father, right? What do you mean? His father was drunk and abusive, which could have made Stalin feel both dependent and threatened. Paranoia can start as a child in the same situation. Right? Yes, I can. Good point. There's a chance Stalin had paranoia. Am I not correct? Yeah, he could have. Did he, though? There's no definite answer on that. Now there's more I need to write. Please continue. Understood, doctor. Uh, Stalin may have lost his sense of good and bad, healthy and dangerous, permissible and impermissible, friend and enemy. Character traits can become exaggerated so that a suspicious person could become paranoid. What does that mean? He couldn't tell the difference between it all. And permissible means? Allowable. Stalin couldn't tell the difference between things that were allowed and unallowable. Duh. So Stalin became like this due to accidents and infections in his early years? I do believe that is the case here. He didn't have many challenges. His father rude and abusive, and that was in general. Even worse when he's drunk, and his mother health is what makes him, him. His arms aren't even the same length. First John carriage accident when he was 12. Everything for him just went downhill so soon. Poor guy, ever wondered what it would have been like if he had some normal childhood. If he had a normal childhood, he might have been dictator. Exactly, if he wasn't dictator, people wouldn't have been killed. Point made. People um, may not have been killed only if it wasn't for his issues. And parents. It's debatable. Maybe he still would have ended up this way no matter what happened. Stalin, a name history won't forget. Dictator of the Soviet. Mental issues, surely he had. If he had, would he have been so evil and bad? I guess we'll never know. For Joseph Stalin's going to be buried six feet below. Rest, Rest in, in peace, peace, Joseph Stalin. Scene!